Today on Yezu Bite Size, we're going to talk about how to upgrade the firmware on your Yezu FTDX101D and FTDX101MP. So the first thing we need is an SD card. It can be a 2 gigabyte SD card or a 4, 8, 16 or 32 gigabyte SDHD card like this one here. And then we'll put the SD card into the SD card slot of the radio. Don't put it fully in at this moment. Then we're going to turn the radio off. We're going to put the card into the radio until it goes click and then turn the radio back on again. And then after the machine is restarted we press the function button and then extension setting and then we press SD card and here we see format so we press done next to format and it says format SD card we say OK and the radio is now going to format the SD card It now says format complete, so we just press the screen and then if we just go back, back and press function, it goes back to the main screen. Now we're going to turn the radio off and then we can eject the SD card and we're now going to go over to our computer which has an SD card reader and also access to the internet. So the next thing we're going to do is download the firmware files for your FTDX101MP or FTDX101D and copy them onto the SD card that you formatted in your radio. So first of all, go to your favourite web browser and go to www.yezu.com, press enter. And then we go to products. HF transceivers and amplifiers and then select either FTDX 101 MP or FTDX 101 D so click on the link click on files scroll down until you get to FTDX 101 firmware update and click on the link and now your web browser is going to download the firmware update files in this case it's approximately 5 megabytes And then when the web browser is finished downloading the file, you can then click open file. And you can see it's a zip file and it contains a folder here. So we click on extract all. And then we click extract. And your computer now will unzip that zip file. And you'll see here we've got a folder FTDX 101 firmware update. We click on that folder, double click. And it opens it up. Here we've got a firmware update manual, a PDF file which describes how to update the firmware. And here we have the FTDX 101 firmware update folder. So we double click on that. And here you see we have four SFL files. So we're going to select all four files in this case. The exact number may vary depending on the version of firmware. So we select them all right hand mouse click and we do copy now we insert the SD card into the SD card slot of your computer and your computer will automatically open up the uh, drive and you'll see here you've got an FTDX 101 folder if this folder is missing then that means you need to format the SD card in your radio and please refer to the earlier information in the video on how to do this. So in this case it's formatted so we can double click on FTDX 101 and it opens up the folder. We right hand mouse click and do paste and your computer has copied the firmware update files onto the FTDX 101 folder on the SD card and now 
we should um, safely eject the card. So we right hand mouse click the eject icon uh, next to the taskbar and then we click eject removable disk and now that ejects the card and it's safe to now remove it from your computer and put it into your radio. OK, after we've copied the firmware files onto our SD card with the power switched off on the radio we put the SD card into the SD card slot we push it in until it clicks and then we turn the power on on the radio and then we go to function and then we go to extension setting and then we go with SD card highlighted we go to firmware update and then we go done and the radio now is going to scan the firmware files on the SD card. It will put a tick in the box for all suitable firmware upgrade files. And then with all of those selected, we press update. And the radio says update and we press OK. And now the radio is reading each firmware file in turn and updating each firmware. So after the radio has updated the firmware, it will then restart and we can prove that the firmware has been successful if we press function, extension setting and then we go to software version. You can just check that the firmware has updated correctly and we just go back, back, function gets us back to the main screen. And if you wish to eject the card, you can turn the radio off, eject the card, turn the radio back on again. And your radio is now ready to use with the latest firmware.